What is going on guys? We are on a different platform than this gal. I finally got an upgrade. It's the uh, GoPro Black 10, I think. Uh, yeah, 10 Black is what it says on the thing. But I got real, something cool to show you here. We, uh, we got, we got some little, I can't zoom in, but we got some little surprise on old Sierra Girl. So we're gonna go get that thing off. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because that thing is like, it's about 300 pounds and I, I could pick it up, but usually, you know, it's like with a bar, you know, but we're gonna get it and uh, I'll bring you along for the ride, but let's go somehow get this 300 pound surprise off the back of my truck. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We done got ourselves a daggone toolbox, which is about freaking time because I needed one that had a workbench. But we're gonna have to somehow get this this thing right here up in that garage over there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is my brand new Husky big old 52 inch toolbox that I can finally get past that old thing right there that's still got a tall piece of garbage. It's, I mean, this thing has outlets on it. It's got these heavy duty caster wheels. I mean, it's it's a whole, it's a whole deal. You all know I have all this stuff and I have a lot of projects I do and I need to be able to work on it instead of just sitting on this floor or using, using her tailgate. But now we finally have a workbench to do said things with. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out of here, which I don't know how that's gonna go exactly. We'll figure it out here. So uh, y'all just hang out and then let me get this thing on strap first. I'm actually very curious to see how this goes. Like they straight up had a forklift put this thing on here from Home Depot. And uh, yeah, I don't have one of those at uh, the fingertips, so we're gonna see. Oh. Oh, jeez. Look, look at this thing. Dude, that thing is wood, boy. Look at that. That's no joke, dude. I can see myself right now, like all the projects just right here. Yeah. Oh, let's save myself some trouble. Just lift the box. We take this guy off. That. Hold this box down and then move it. Here we go. So the wheels aren't actually on the thing. So I'm assuming that they're in here. It gives you your rails. That's probably where those wheels are at. And Whatever that is. Look at these drawers, y'all. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This thing is deep, son. Look at that. Nice easy close. A little bit of toughest to pull out, but then it closes real easy. Look at that. These big old guys right here as well. And actually, seams. So this is where all the mats stuff we're at you can see that so you can lock it right here I mean look at this fellas look at that look at this thing dude it's a nice little blue color a little pretty blue not too bad oh here's the outlet side right here got our cord 
got one, two, three, four, five, six outlets, two USB ports. There's your on and off right there. Wow, this is awesome. Look right there. Yeah, six outlets, two USB ports. Which I'm trying to see where that cord comes in. I guess I don't know. And we got the backpack here, nice solid back. So it's definitely gonna go like right here. We'll have it sitting back there. And I'll get the wheels on there somehow. Pound, rated soft closing ball bearing drawers. Yeah, this thing is no joke, dude. That's pretty husky. This thing is no joke, y'all. Comes with a lot, of, a lot of stuff in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all nice and set up, put it where I want, and then I'll catch up with you guys. I just wanted to bring attention to this real quick. They put some scrims on this thing, boy. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Straight up said, pimp my ride with a toolbox, my guy. What is this? <laughs> all right guys, so I went ahead and get this thing all set up here and in where I want it to be. I'm still organizing here. I gotta actually like go through there and put all my tools in here, but I think I'm gonna just run it like this, you know? Just kind of have like little stuff over here and then, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, I want it to be like, like right here. This is nice. So I went ahead and Plugged in a couple of my chargers, so one for my Ryobi Sawzall battery charger and then a little crappy other charger for the uh, batteries of the drill. So uh, yeah, uh, I might figure out how to make this more clean. I don't like how it's like all wired and loose and it looks kind of weird. Uh, I guess you just have to live with this one. This is what powers these guys right here. Um, but yeah, we'll figure something out. We got the rail on the side. We could put it on either side. It actually has holes for either side. so. I might actually remove that and stick it on the other side and then hang that off of it. We'll see, I don't know yet. But I went ahead and wiped it down, made it look all good. Got the keys out of here. They give you two little keys for that lock right there so it locks all the drawers up. And then I went ahead and unwrapped uh, the mats right here because I was like, I'll clean them. I, put, I brought these out and then I was like, let me clean it off. So I put them back in here for the time being. But I'll go ahead and put these guys in and it's, Hopefully look pretty they're pretty soft you know it's almost like a memory foam thing so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah we'll go ahead and put these guys in So right now, you, as you can tell, it's all unlocked to every single one of them. And uh, yeah, and then when you lock it, you do its good old, you just all the way over. It's a strong freaking lock. And then, actually pulling kind of hard on these. Yeah, as you can tell, they are all locked. That's pretty cool. We're all good. All right, y'all, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just dig into this thing right here and get all my tools out and just kind of make this like my detailing toolbox or whatever. And then I'll make this guy the actual like tool toolbox where I have all my tools and stuff in it. So no more, you know, like, like, like it's just like, oh yeah, you know, kind of like scattered tools and all this other stuff, you know what I mean? And it's just like, oh yeah, detailing. And, you know, it's like, we, I could use it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything organized and I will just catch back up with you when that's done. All right, you guys, it has been about a good month and a half since we last tagged up with this thing. So basically, I guess to wrap everything up in my review of this toolbox, it has been fantastic. Uh, I recently painted, so I had actually had to dust it off and all this kind of good stuff, but I kind of, you know, I kind of have just like gloves and cleanup stuff and my chargers. And then in here, you know, I got like just, you know, miscellaneous things. We got everything set up all nice. Well, that's, I like that's pretty satisfying. Got like all my digital stuff and electricals and you know, that kind of equipment in here. You know, a little bit of like, you know, that kind of stuff. And then down here is full of kind of randomness and you know, chemicals. Same thing over here. And you know, this this thing right here, I'm telling you, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. It, it, I mean. I have loved every second of owning this thing. I keep these things plugged in all the time. I turn it off when I'm 
not using it just so it's, you know, not running. I don't really use this as much, but whenever I do want to come back in, I'll just flip it on. These guys cut back on, stuff like that, and then we're all we're all good to go. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've loved every second of this thing. So if you're looking for a toolbox slash workbench, I really think that this is the way to go. Especially because like, you know, if I lock this guy up whenever I leave this garage, just a little like this, and boom. There's been times I've almost like yanked this thing off the wall because I would just pull it and it's like nothing. Yeah, it's been it's been great. I love this thing. Oh my gosh, I've used it for so much. I've changed brake pads on here, all my paint stuff. Like anything I have, I'll put it right here. Like today I'm gonna be, you know, switching out a filter. So I mean, I'll have this ready to go. Holds my speaker, charges if I need to, charges my phone. I mean, all that kind of good stuff. So this thing has been fantastic. I love it. So if you're looking for a toolbox and a workbench at the same time, that can charge chargers, charge your phone. I mean, locks up all this kind of good stuff. This is a great deal. I got it from a good old Home Depot. I've loved it ever since, especially gets me out of this freaking hunk of junk right here, which holds all my detail and stuff. But you know, I think that thing has been great. And for my subscribers, why would I do after shots on a freaking toolbox? and me get a new addition, which I've gotten actually many other additions <laughs> so far. But um, if you want, like I said, if you want something like this, go on down to little Home Depot. I don't know if uh, they have them on display in Lowe's, but this is where I got, I got mine from. That's it, guys. Thank you for sticking along with me in this journey. Hopefully, I can help you make a decision on a uh, toolbox and workbench type deal. But uh, yeah, so like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do with your choice, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.